What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack. I'm at vapinginsider.com. Today we're going to be doing another review on a collaboration between Org Vape and Mike Vapes. Now, for the most part, Mike Vapes usually puts out some pretty good stuff. The big question on this one is this the best top airflow dual coil RTA on the market right now? Make sure you watch the whole review, find out exactly what I think. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Here is the RTA. As I said before, nothing on the bottom here. Just a little bit of roughness so you can get a grip because it's not a bottom airflow tank. Over here you can see there's your top airflow right there. All right, stoppers on both ends. Tension is really nice. Whatever you adjust on one happens on the other. There's your drip tip right there. You know, Mike Vapes likes putting those little curves in the drip tip. And I got to say, I kind of agree with him because they are nice and comfortable. They're a little snug. 810 style drip tip. All your other 810s will fit fine. It's a little too low profile for me. I wish it was a little longer, but it is very comfortable. Pop it back in there. It does look nice on the RTA. Open up the top cap. Quarter of a turn. Did you see that? Did you see that? Look at this. Bang. Boom. Awesome, awesome job. Love those quarter of a turn top caps. Big, big fan of those. Now, you can see you got your little notch here. That's what allows you to get that quarter of a turn. Get these nice, big, open fill ports. I like that. You probably could get bull nose bottles in there, but you're going to have to be a little careful. Needle nose will do best. Over here, you can see you got a nice big gasket keeping the juice at bay. All right, overall, top cap and the machining so far, really, really nice. All right, now, let's open this thing up. Let me show you the inside. Over here, you can see, okay, what's happening is you're getting your airflow from here and from here, right? And what that's doing is that airflow is connecting to this, and then it's slamming into the side of your coil. There's your wicking ports right there. He did do a bit of a conical design right there, I guess, to increase the flavor. I like the attempt, only so much you can do on an airflow system like this, but nice job on the attempt. It'll probably help out a little bit. Threading on this is not too bad. It's not the greatest. It's not the smoothest either, but you know, it's, it's, it's passable. It's, it's decent. On the bottom of the atomizer, you can see Mike Vapes. All right. Gold plated 510 insulator ring around it, stainless steel threading around that. And you can see it's serialized Org Vape Mike Vapes. All right, now let's take a look at the deck, which is what everyone wants to see. Different, nice looking deck. Over here is where your post holes are, one and two. Airflow is going to come in from here, and then it's going to slam into the side of your coils. Postless deck, hex keys, all right? This is where you put your cotton after you, you know, when you're done wicking, all right? And there's your little wicking port right there, your little wicking channel. So I think you're going to want to make sure you put the cotton loose in there. That's what it looks like to me. Let's open up these post holes and let's put a build in here. Now, first, right off the jump, the post holes don't look that big. So forget about the real beefy coils. You're probably not going to be able to get them in there. They're not too big at all. Here you got this interesting little baggie. All right. You got some sparrow rings. You got some strips of cotton a coil, another strip of cotton. You have an Allen key. Try not to pull out all the O-rings. And there's another coil somewhere in there. So you get two coils, spare deck screws, spare O-rings, and you get this coil, you get two of them with some cotton. Also included in the kit is this spare bubble glass, which I'm probably not gonna use. And I know that's unusual. It's just that I'm really not a top airflow guy. So I don't even want to go through the the noise of putting a bubble glass on it because, you know, I don't have high hopes for this because it's top airflow. And here's your coil cutting tool that you get. Simply slide your coils through there and you'll get the perfect length. We're going to use that as well. Let's throw a build in here. Shout out to the Coil Master 521 plus tab. Now, these post holes are 1.5 millimeter. So just know that going in in case you're using a driver. You could also use the included Allen key. Here is your coil measuring tool. See how that works? You just measure up your coil right there. Grab it with your flush cutter right there. Put your finger on it so it don't go flying and give it a snip. Same thing on the other one. Grab it with your flush cutter. Snip. Okay. 
And now you got the perfect coil length. And you repeat that with the other coil. Now that you have your coils at the perfect length, you just kind of pop them in there, man. Bang. Just like that. Same thing on the other side. Get your leads in those holes and just push them down. Now, what you want to do is you want to keep your finger. Make sure your coil master is off, okay? Because you don't want to burn your fingers. You want to keep your finger in there and you want to apply some light pressure while you're tightening your post screws down, okay? Just a little bit of light pressure so they don't pop up, all right? Give it a nice tightening. Don't worry, I know they look out of joint. We're gonna fix that. Get your finger down there, same. Repeat the process on the other side. Tighten it down nice and tight. Get the other one, same thing. Again, these are 1.5 millimeter deck screws. And that's what your coil is gonna look like, something like that. Now that's really out of joint. We're gonna fix that, get your coiling rod in there, and straighten those coils out. No biggie, real easy. Come in from the other side, get them over there, push them, pull them, do whatever you gotta do to get them to look nice. And there you go. Your build should look something like that. Now we're gonna give them a little pulsing. Right now we're oming out at 0 0.08. That's probably gonna come up a bit. Give it a nice pulse. Scrape out all the hot spots. And now you see the coils are glowing evenly from the inside out, which is exactly what you want. Now you take your provided wicking material, give one end a little bit of a twist, give it a pinch, get it nice and pointy, and send it right through, just like so. See how nice? that tension is. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna repeat the process. Now when you cut these wicks, you wanna cut them right around where the outer diameter of that base starts, right around there. That's where you wanna be. Same thing on the other side. Lay your scissor right on top of that base and snip it. And we'll pull these through a little bit, even them out a little more, and there you go. Now what you wanna do, you got that little wicking port right there. Just take your cotton, nice and gently, man. Don't disturb those wicking properties. Just pop it right in there, just like so. See how nice and loose that is? Look, that's how you want it, nice and loose. Repeat the process on the other side, and that's how you want it. That's how your deck should look after it's built and wicked properly. Juice we're gonna be using today is Take Off Land of Clouds. This is a Boston cream like donut, man. And let me tell you something. I don't like Boston cream vapes. Most places can't do the chocolate well. On this one, they nailed the chocolate frosting. It is one of the best Boston cream donuts I've ever had, bar none. Go check it out if that's your flavor profile. So we're gonna take our Boston cream donut we're gonna paint those coils, get that cotton nice and saturated, get some juice in there, get it all nice and wet. And here we go. Test fire, we got a vape. Paint it up a little more. And there you go. Man, I wish you were here because that stuff just smells fantastic. Now we're gonna take our juiced and wicked base. We're just gonna pop it on there, give it a little reverse thread till it seats like that, right? See how it sat? And now you thread it on. And the threading on the base is not bad at all, really not. Pop that top cap open with that quarter of a turn and let's put some Boston cream goodness in here. Oh yeah. I'm telling you guys, man, if that's your flavor profile, Boston cream, you guys know I normally don't rave about individual juices. This is a great Boston cream juice. Pop that top cap on, quarter turn, and check it out, man. We are ready to vape. All right, insiders, you saw everything up close and personal. Let's get into those cons and pros. First con's gonna be, and I'm not gonna lie, man, I really had to nitpick to get some cons on this thing, but the first con's gonna be that airflow ring. I wish it had a little bit more roughness on it. Sometimes if you got a little juice on your fingers or something, it can be tough to kind of get a grip on. 
I wish it just had like some heavier knurling on it, some more roughness on it, but it's a very petty con and I will admit that. Other cons gonna be the airflow on this one, it's a tad noisy. Listen, this is it full open, right? And then if I close it halfway, it gets a little louder when you close it halfway. It's no big deal. Like I said, I'm not going to lie. I really had to struggle to find cons on this RTA. It's actually really good. Let's get into the pros. First pro is going to be, man, this thing's easy to build and wick. You saw me do it down low. This is not hard at all. You don't need no build game. You don't need no wicking game. I'm not going to lie, man. I kind of stuck my foot in my mouth when I was on the down low part and I said how, you know, I didn't want to put in the bubble glass because I'm not going to be impressed with top airflow flavor. I got to admit, man, I kind of stepped in it on that one. The flavor on this one for a top airflow tank is actually excellent. I mean, it's probably the best flavor I've ever gotten off a top airflow tank. Let me show you what I'm working with here. I got a 0.11 build in here at 85 watts. Check it out. Just nice, man. I mean, I still get that little bit of a hollowness that you get with top airflow flavor, but for the most part, it's pretty saturated, pretty flavorful, and the clouds are definitely there. Look, nobody's ever gonna convince me that top airflow is better than bottom or side airflow, but this one comes as close as you can get to it. That's my point on it, and that's where I'll leave it. It's leak proof, man. You gotta be an idiot to make this tank leak. If you made this tank leak, that means you just didn't use enough cotton and you flooded the hell out of it because there's no way to make this thing leak if you have even the worst wicking game in the world. It's got a really nice capacity with or without the bubble glass. That's a pro. Nice build quality. Airflow is slightly restrictive, even wide open, but it's the restrictiveness that I like on it. Awesome job on the airflow. It's a pro. You saw the cloud production. It's got nice cloud production. I showed it to you before. That's a pro. It's good looking, man. It's a good looking tank. I think it looks awesome on my double barrel V3. Check it out, man. It's just beautiful. So that's it, insiders. Those are my cons and pros. Let's chat about this one a little bit. I'll tell you this right off the jump, man. If you're a beginner, if you got no wicking game at all, but you want to get into RTAs, check out the link down below. This is the RTA for you. Conversely, if you're an experienced builder and you just happen to like top airflow RTAs, check this one out because it's my belief that it's the best one on the market right now. I mean, as far as top airflow goes, man, this one's the cat's ass. Let's get into some of the specs on the Org Vape Intake Dual. It measures in at 26 millimeters. You get 5.8 mLs with the bubble, 4.2 mLs with the straight. It's got a quarter turn top cap. It's a dual coil RTA. It's available in silver, gunmetal, black, and rainbow. Remember, insiders, it's more important now than ever that you fight for your right to vape. On November 9th, we're going to have a big rally at the Ellipse in D.C., organized by United Vapors Alliance. Make sure you're there. Do whatever you can do to get there. If you can't get there, go to their website, go to their Facebook page, see if you can donate a few dollars. It's important. We need to fight for our right to vape. It's important that we make a good showing on that weekend. So get out there if you can. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. Make sure now more than ever, it's more important that you keep living that vape life. We're out. Deuces.